Hey everybody, welcome to Passionate About Music Education and I'm Rachel Hardman. On today's episode we're going to talk about the word joy and the joy of music making and how special that is. And I'm sure if you're a musician and you listen to this, we already know how wonderful music is. Whether it's playing as a soloist or playing in an ensemble, whether it's going to a live concert, whether it's listening to a brand new CD or hearing your favourite album, sharing that music with your friends, your family, whatever way that you enjoy doing music or absorbing music we know the joy that it brings and, and the joy of sharing music and how important it is that we communicate this musical language with others it's what brings uh, humanity out it's what gives us culture and um, helps the brain develop and that we all know all the wonderful things that music does for education and for us as human beings and i was watching a um a virtual learning experience the other day and there was a gentleman on there talking about joy of music and and it was just and, and how important the joy of music and how important stepping away from all the noise that's going on at the moment and just getting back to why do we teach music why are we in music education and it was just so inspiring and i just sat there and went yeah absolutely you've got it right you've got talking about why music's important so when you go back to school, when you start again this this term, which is probably for most of us is going to be quite stressful, try to think about the word joy. Where can you find joy in your teaching job and and also in your career and also um, in in your own personal life? Where are these moments of joy and happiness and gratitude? And it's it's easy to forget when you're busy and you're teaching. 30 students at a time and they're in and out of your room and you've got six lessons in a row and you've got a lunchtime group to forget how much of an impact you really are making and that you do make a difference and you do make a difference to that child in your classroom you give them confidence or you give them a word of praise or that you're the steady rock in their life where they know that they're safe in the band room or in the choir room or in your GCSE class you have a lot more impact than sometimes you realize of, of changing and helping and shaping that young person and that there's a huge amount of joy in that um, and also sometimes we take things for granted so this year i took a group of students to see a concert and uh, it, there was a workshop in the morning and then we got free tickets which was really great it was a, a sponsored event it was in the local um, hotel um, auditorium and i took a group of students from my school and I, there was a moment when one of them, who was like 13, 14 years old, turned around and said, this is the first concert I've ever been to. And I, you kind of forget after 20 odd years that you, you, know, you do all these trips and concerts and various things, that so you're actually taking them to their first event. And I was quite taken aback and, and quite humbled and quite honoured that I'd taken them to see their first concert proper live concert and we, we went to see naturally seven who were amazing and, and just fantastic and um, yeah the students, there were a number of students who said I've never been to a concert before and it was it, it brought me a lot of joy that I gave them that experience and I was because I gave up an evening I, I, you know it was a lovely evening because it was good to see naturally seven who were amazing and I took the students and we went to see it and we got these free tickets and it, and it was a brilliant opportunity and you don't realise actually sometimes how much of an impact you're making on that young person's life. So try to remember that within all the teaching and all the stress of teaching and all the training and all the assessment and the data and emails and all of that, that you are bringing joy. And the other thing that we have to remember is that we're bringing joy to parents as well. They are so happy at concerts um, with seeing their child perform. And as musicians, we want it to be perfect and, and as I've talked about in other episodes, perfection is not necessarily a good thing. Um, it's a very stressful thing because we're worried about what other people's opinions are. So, but we, we do want to aim for excellence or you know, a good job. But actually, parents just want to see their child perform and do really well and, and have success and be able to video it or take a photo and share that with family. These are lifelong memories we're creating. How many people do you know when you say, oh, I'm a music teacher, go, oh, I learned the clarinet. Oh, I remember playing in my school band. I remember going on tour. I remember singing with this choir. And we did this concert. That, uh, grown adults will go back, oh, I remember, I loved it. I wish I'd never stopped playing a musical instrument. 
We hear this so often. And, and we are creating lifelong memories for, for young people. And so however hard and stressful teaching can be, and it can at times, and, and it can be quite lonely being a music teacher. Often you're the only music teacher in the school or you're in the school and there's lots of part-time teachers who are in and out of the building and you're in your classroom all day and you're doing rehearsals all day all at lunchtime and after school, before school and you, you might go a whole day without seeing another grown-up. Um, but in between all of that, remember the joy that you bring of sharing music to others. So this term, every day, try and remember joy as much as you can, not just in your career, but also in your day-to-day -day life as well. I'm Rachel Hardman. This is Passionate About Music Education.